day. Now, we're in this thing called 21 days of fasting and prayer, right? And so we're taking 21 days to, um, to, to be in prayer and to listen to God. But part of that time of being in prayer and, and fasting, removing some things from our lives so we hear from God, part of that is being in the Word. Because we always say that we want to hear God speak, and so He's written it down, right? So someone asked me actually last week, and I was reminded this week of, of why, but someone asked me, that, what's special about 21 days? Is that a biblical thing? And you don't really see... Uh, that number jumping out from the Bible that, hey, do 21 days of fasting and prayer. No, but here's what we have learned and what studies have shown, that if you do something for 21 days, it will often become a part of your life. It'll become a habit, a a natural rhythm in your life. Do you understand that? You know what I'm saying? You ever heard that? So if you do it for 21 days, they say a lot of times that will become a natural rhythm in your life. So, hey, 21 days of fasting and prayer, and if 21 days helps that to become a part of our lives, that's a good thing, isn't it? That's a really good thing. Hey, let me say this. I hope this sinks in this morning. If you want to hear God speak, then remove the noise of this temporal world and go read what he already said. If you want to hear God speak, remove the noise of this temporal world and go read what he's already said. We say that all the time here. Like, if you want to hear God speak, go read what he already said. He wrote it down for us. Like, how great is that of our God? I mean, he wrote his words down. I mean, this is, even though it was written down by, by men, like, back in the day, But they were inspired by God, like the Holy Spirit inspired them to write this down. This is the true words of God that we get to go read. We get to hear what he's saying to us. Hey, take out your Bibles. Turn to 2 Timothy chapter 3. We're going to look at verses 14 through 17 this morning. So 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 14 through 17, and I'll read it out loud to you. And it says this, But as for you, continue in what you have learned and have firmly believed, knowing from whom you learned it. And how from childhood you have been acquainted with the sacred writings, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. So let me give you some background and some context on this passage, all right? So the Apostle Paul is writing this, and it's it's not... Even though we view it as a book in the Bible, it's a letter, really, that he's writing to a young man named Timothy, who was young at the time. Now, Timothy had been raised by his mother and his grandmother, and they had taught him the word since the time he was a kid. And then Paul began to mentor him and to disciple him and began to train Timothy so Timothy could take over and pastor churches and plant churches, right? And so Timothy was a part of this great work. So Paul writes this letter to Timothy to to show him and to remind him, hey, stick to the word of God. Remember, this is the way you were raised. This is the truth. This is the God whom you believe. Stick to that. Like in order for you not to question truth and to question your call that God has placed in your life, stay in the word. 